Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna do the first in a series I plan to film called Get Ready With Me, Lipstick and Libations. So I fixed me a little adult beverage, cocktail, libation, whatever you wanna call it. I used some new stuff, made some mistakes, but I fixed it. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned, keep on watching. We're gonna start off doing things a little different. I normally do my foundation and all my face stuff first and then do my eyes. But because I'm trying something different today, I'm gonna do my eyes first. I'm gonna start off with this first. I made a little watermelon adult beverage. Whoa. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my primer and I am using the Milk Hydro Grip. The star of the show today, y'all y'all probably knew this already. Pat McGrath, this is the Mothership 7. And this is Midnight Sun. I said these names so wrong in my last video and I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start off with my little flat concealer brush and I'm going to put, you've seen me use this before, my P. Louise Makeup Base. That's gonna be my primer. Y'all, when I'm at home and I know like I have time and I'm going somewhere and I'm excited about it, like especially if I'm going out, I can sit in the bathroom, no lie, like four, three, four hours and do my makeup. <laughs> and it's mostly dancing. <laughs> I'm not even, <laughs> it's mostly dancing more than it is doing my face, but it's just a process. It's a whole vibe. So I enjoy it. Pat that in, make sure it's even. And then I'm going to put a little bit of powder on top of it just to set it. Okay. So first we are going to start off. I don't have the sheet for this. So I don't know the names of colors. I'm terribly sorry, I'm a bad YouTuber. I'm gonna start off with this light brown color here just to see how that's gonna look in my crease. So I'm gonna dip into another palette because I want to have something that will mesh better with this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection. This is the volume one. It was purple. Of course I had to, but look at these colors. Pretty. I want a purple that has a slightly bluish undertone to it. So like this one would probably be the best one. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna use B4 and I'm gonna use the same brush. Now with the brown, that kind of looks more dark brown slash black, but you can see a hint of purple. I'm perfectly okay with this going further on the outside of my eye than I normally do because once I put my concealer on, it's gonna clean all of that up. So you can be a little bit messier when you do your eyes first. I'm gonna take a smaller brush to use that'll be more concentrated in my crease. I'm gonna take this dark, blackish grayish it's more gray cool tone color and we're gonna put this just in the crease Ooh. so it's not completely covering up the purple that we used earlier but really defining the crease more So I'm gonna go back over it with just a little bit of purple. I'm probably gonna use a lighter purple than this. But right now I'm just worried about buffing it out, making everything smooth and blended. 
I'm going to take a lighter base than what we used. Last time we used the P. Louise. Today we are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This is like a white. So again, little bit, take my time. Look at that. Very pigmented. Take my time so that I make sure I carve out exactly where the color is going to be. Oh, my eyelid's mad. So just really take the time. And if you tilt your head back, you can see exactly where your crease is. So you get a better idea of where you want to put the line. Comme ça. That's like that in French. I'm gonna add just a little bit of glitter glue. And I have the NYX version of this, not the Too Faced. I have the Too Faced too, but I bought this first because it was cheaper. And then I got the other one just to see if there was really that much of a difference. I don't think there is, but. So I'm just putting this on the same brush and patting it over the white. Cause I'm ready to get that beautiful shade on my eyelid. I'm gonna start off with a brush. I'm going to use setting spray for this and the setting spray that I'm using, I actually cannot stand on my face. So right now I'm gonna dive into this beautiful purple color and we're gonna see what it do. I don't think it's going to pick up as well as the Divine Rose VR Extrestrial, however you pronounce that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no. So I'm going to use my finger. There, that is better. See, it's almost like a purple blue, silver. Isn't that pretty? I love it. The inner corner. I just love the shine on this color. Guys, and I am in the mood to go like all the way, all out for this video. I'm gonna do hair, which is gonna include a wig, cause we sassy. All of it. I'm gonna go back to the brush just to get this up in the crease. And then for our inner corner highlight, we are going to use this super glittery shade right here. Probably should use a smaller brush, but we gonna be all right. Ooh, that gets a lot of shine and I'm wetting this cause it's glitter and I want it to stay right where I put it. and blend that into the blue just a tad. Inner corner is bright, bright, and I'm probably gonna go back over that because when I do my foundation and concealer, it's probably gonna take some of that off, but y'all get the gist. So now we are going to Go back with that darker color, the dark grayish black, and we're gonna darken this up some more. Now that we have the color placed and putting it on top will kind of help it look a little more shimmery and help it blend into the purple. 
What color do y'all see this? Purple, blue, I don't know. I think I'm colorblind sometimes. And then I'm just going back in the crease to blend it. So it keeps our cut crease, but makes it a little bit darker because we lost some of it having to use my finger. Okay, boo. We like it. Okay, this might mess it up, <laughs> but let me do some digging. We're gonna try it, and if it doesn't match, it'll match. We'll make it match. That's how you learn stuff. You just have to try it. If it works, it works, and if it doesn't, then you know not to do it next time, but it's not a big deal. That's why you have to practice. I'm going to take this is the Bad ha bad Habit Fantasia palette, and I, <laughs> I really don't think this is going to go, but we're going to do it anyway. It's fine. We're going to take this blue right here, and I just want to put that a little bit. Look at that. I barely dipped in there. <sighs> Lord. <sighs> a little bit around the edge. I want blue without, that's just darkening it. That's not what I want. Glad I only put a little bit. See? Okay, we're just gonna leave that because I don't want this to be too dark and I'm not getting the color that I want. I went to go look for another bluish color and I have this Atlantis palette by Face Candy. Um, I'm going to wait till the end and see how it looks because I don't want to mess this up. Doing too much, being extra. We're going to stop and I'm going to move on to the face and then we're going to come back and finish the eyes. When I'm doing like full glam, full glam, I color correct and I use a orange concealer. This one is by e.l.f. So I take this and I just dot it on top of where my dark spots are really bad. And don't worry, this does not show through your foundation, trust me. So if you have any kind of color discoloration, um, there are different shades of this. It comes in peach, it comes in a dark, they're, you know, color correctors, I mean, come in different shades. So if you have like some discoloration around your mouth or under your eyes or on your chin, wherever, you just get a color corrector. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and just lightly brush over those to pat them in. But I don't want to swipe because I don't want to move it. I want it to stay exactly where I put it. Now, I'm not covering every single spot. I'm using a full coverage concealer, so it's gonna take care of that for me. One of my favorite foundations to use whenever I'm doing a full coverage look, it's a little fancy. This is the YSL Yves Saint Laurent foundation, and it's the All Hours foundation. This does say it has sunscreen in it, but I've never had issues with flashback using it. I think this color fits well. The coverage is nice. This does have a bit of a scent to it. So if you're sensitive to that, it might bother you. We'll start off with, we'll probably use two pumps, maybe three pumps, but one pump, two pumps, all right, I guess it's a three pump kind of night. I just want to make sure that I get all of this orange covered. So then I'm going to take my foundation brush and start dotting. So you see how that's covered the orange? Cannot see that at all. And then I still have concealer and everything else to do. Ooh, this is my slightly darker summer color, but we'll fix it with concealer. So I'm going to brush it down my neck a little bit just to make sure that it blends and it doesn't look like I have a mask on that just stops at my jawline. Ooh, y'all, this color is dark. Okay, girl, you've been wanting some sun. I guess we're going to fake it. 
I actually like the way this smells. I know with sensitive acne prone skin, smells, fragrances are not good. Oh my God, this color is so dark. <laughs> well, I got a little sun today, but I don't think it did much. <laughs> sure in the hell didn't do enough for this. <laughs> we'll make it work. It's fine. I promise. Cheers. This is a slush and it's not cooperating. All right. So I'm sure this is something that has happened to anybody who has done their own makeup before. What I do is I take a concealer that's a little lighter than I normally go. And when I blend that out around my eyes, I'm going to take it along my jawline to help lighten that and more on my forehead. So you'll see, it'll be okay. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape and probably have my fingers covering that. I'm trying to get better about this, guys. This is like full coverage, matte, I start with just dots because I don't like too much under my eyes because I do have fine lines and I don't want to make my wrinkles and lines look worse. This will suck the life out of your face, but it does not move. Ooh, Lord, that foundation is dark. <laughs> watch, watch how we transform it though. This you have to blend flat fast because it will dry down. So notice how I said I'm not worried about the outside part of my eye because I'm fixing the shape of that here. And then I'm just going to pull this down lower. And honestly, I would rather have my foundation be a little darker than to, to than have it to be too light because if it's too light, you're going to look ashy. Nobody is doing a full face of makeup to look sick. And I love to look bronzed and tan and red. So you see how that's lightening it up? So then I'm just going to take a little here. Might add just a little bit more. Yeah, see, we'll be all right. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this here, and then I'm going to carry that down. Yeah, that's enough. See how that's lightening that up some? It's exactly what we wanted. Told you we'll make it work. Girl, she is looking like she has no worries. Setting powder, I am using the Nakia Joy Cosmetics. She calls this her velvet finishing powder. Now this is going to look white and I'm okay with that because when I brush it away, everything will be just fine. So I'm gonna pack this on under here. And on the side of my nose, which tends to break up. And because our foundation was dark, I am putting this a little bit heavier than I normally do. This is my contour brush. It's the Sigma Small Contour. And this is the F05. And like I said, we're doing it up today. So we're snatching cheekbones, wigs, edges, all of it. I'm using my Tarte Contour Palette. This is going to be dark. Now, I didn't even, I probably should have set this with powder first, but we're going to be all right. Put this in this hairline. 
and we won't need too much because everything is already dark and you see I'm sucking in to see exactly where my cheekbones are gonna be defined and I always start back here first and then come down because you don't want to start with what the most amount of product on your brush down here and then it'll have a big dark spot on your cheek so start in the back and then blend downwards snatch that nose we want everything snatched looking slim feeling like quarantine has not affected us at all no weight gain no nothing no stress so now I'm going to go a little bit here if anybody cares if you are worried feel like you have a double chin you put a little bit of dark powder your contour powder right underneath your jawline and that is going to help define that I'm just doing it to help tie everything together and then this is my powder brush I am going to take just a regular lighter powder and I'm going to dust this in the other areas where I didn't highlight or contour but it's a little light because again our foundation was dark so as you can see everything's starting to come together I'm gonna wipe this away everything's looking a little more blended look at that nose contour I don't need no nose job I'll make my own Baby, that face looks flawless. Okay. So now we are going to move on to blush. And because my eyes are a cool tone, we are going to go in with this pretty, it's kind of a mauve berry color. It's the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. And this is by the brand Buxom. And this is in the color Dolly. So I'm just going to take my blush brush. And this has shimmer in it too. So it's going to highlight this stupid pimple on my cheek. <laughs> Ooh, so news. I finally had an appointment with a dermatologist. And after eight years of fighting, y'all know your girl goes hand with blush, so we're just gonna keep putting this on. Um, after eight years of fighting with acne, I did some research a while back and I looked into Accutane, but a lot of the reviews scared me because you know it talked about like possible issues with depression and just the side effects didn't really I didn't think my acne was bad enough so I was just like it's not worth it um it's also really bad side effects if you are trying to get pregnant or planning on having kids I wasn't worried about that part because that is not me but you know it's just like mm, Barbara you can find something else to do let's exhaust all other options before you go that route I give up I'm tired of it like I want my face to be normal. I want my face to be clear. I know I'm still gonna have to deal with the scarring, but you know, I can cover that. I just can't deal with like, my face is never completely clear from acne. And it's just stressful. So I did my first round of blood work and I have to have two months worth of blood work and negative pregnancy tests before I can even start the medicine. Oh, let me tell y'all what I'm using while I'm running my mouth. We are using the Cabral. By benefit remember I said I use a pomade when I want my brows to be like really snatched so that is what we are doing and you know this is why some people do their brows first because right now if I want to clean up my brows with concealer I have to worry about messing up my eyeshadow so I'm just going to be really careful 
when I'm outlining the bottom so that I don't, hopefully don't need concealer. I can't get ready without makeup. I just, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> without music. So I don't know if y'all can hear this or not. I hope not because then I'm gonna be like, eh, monetized and whatever. And then at the same time, I'm just like, I don't care, I'm not there yet. So I'm gonna enjoy my music while I get ready. You guys will get to see my transformation. I do know that there's gonna be a point where my acne is going to get really worse, like my skin's gonna purge itself. And I'm going to try not to hide away from the camera when that happens because, I don't know, people are mean. And I just, you know, I don't know. It'll be a couple weeks and I really want to be consistent with my filming. And I want to be transparent about it because if anybody else is thinking about doing it, then, you know, I'll let them see how it affected me and Maybe that'll help somebody else make a decision about whether or not they're going to do it. So. So one brow done. I'm going to speed through this one. My left eyebrow is growing in more than the right one, so I have to overdraw this right one a little bit more than the left one to make them even. There we go, fade that out a little bit, girl. We don't do black brows on this channel. Leave them alone for you mess them up. Let's work on this bottom lash line. I'm gonna start off first with the Pat McGrath palette and I'm gonna use that dark charcoal color. My mama brushes be playing with me like I'm like I know I have a brush. Okay so we're gonna use this one right in the lower lash line. We're just gonna stamp that You always want to try to tie it to match what you did at the top. So that color we'll do first. And then we'll go in with the darker purplish color that we used to blend everything out. And then the purple on my lid we'll do on the inner corner. So we're going back in B4 in the Anastasia palette, and we're going to put that here in the center. Just to give it a little pop of color. Y'all, this palette is so pigmented, and of course, when I saw all the purples and the pinks, I do this with myself. I literally sit down and I argue with myself, and I'm like, don't buy it. You don't need it. You're not getting it. Don't do it. And then I'm like, well, but if you do this and then actually if you do and like, I will sit there and stress myself out, stress. And then I'm like, okay, well, no, you need to wait for a sale. And then, yeah, you could do that, but you're waiting for a sale to save what? $12. So for three months, you're going to sit there and like analyze and wish that you had it Ooh, that is so nice wish that you had it for twelve dollars i'm not stressing myself out like that i'm just not doing it i'm not going out right now so i'm not spending money on that uh, i'm not going to the gym so i'm not spending money on gym membership i uh, do a lot of my own cooking so i'm not spending money on that like yes i'm saving some but at the same time like it's very easy to get caught up in being bored and like feeling down and depressed because we can't do the stuff that we're normally used to doing. So for me, this is my outlet. This is fun for me. 
I'm not about to stress myself out behind $12. So, I have a confession. <laughs> I said I wasn't buying. Oh, I like that. I decided to put A2 as well just to see. Yes, I like that. Okay. I want something else to pop. We're going to try A1. It looks kind of purplish, but it's like a silver purple. We're going to put that on the inner corner. Um, yeah, I said I was going to wait and buy that Natasha Denona palette. I ordered it. Yesterday, I had a little moment. I was sitting on the couch and I was just looking at stuff. And then the next thing you know, I had three email confirmations. Yes, this is what I wanted. Three email confirmations for palettes. No, no, I lied. Two email, email confirmations, but three palettes. Pat McGrath is having a 20% off sale right now. So I got the sub, I can't, submersive? Submersive, the purple, pinkish colored one. I got that palette. And then I got the, one of the astral quads with the purple and the blue in it. And then I ordered Natasha Denona bronze palette. So I'm gonna take that A2 purple that I put at the bottom. We're gonna take this blue here and see if this does anything. Yes, that's what I wanted, yes, okay. Whew, could've messed that up. Yes, that is perfect. Yeah, it kind of took away some of the smoke and gave me some color to help tie back into the color on my lid. Okay. And it, there, oh my God, yes. So that's what I was saying, you just gotta play and try stuff out. I just went in with A2. And this helps it look a little more bluish purple. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone before I mess it up because I don't think it could get any better. All right, now I always think I draw my wing liners big and they're actually not that big. So we're gonna go for a big wing today. <sighs> I don't normally go this far, let's see. I'm just, I know that I'm using bigger lashes today, so I feel like if I don't put my wing far enough that it's not gonna show, because it didn't really show for Pat McGrath. You just saw the lashes. This eye is gonna come out like perfect, and then the other one's gonna be hot dumpster trash. Oh, pray for me. Y'all, that wing, I never do my wing that big. She is pretty. I am so not joking. When I do my makeup, I make all these sound effects by myself in the bathroom. Wait till I get to my highlighter. It's ridiculous. But I told y'all I love this stuff. So for me, it's just like watching the transformation and seeing how everything turns out. I legit get enjoyment out of that because... I love the transformation. Okay, I can't talk and do this. Mm, it might be all right. I tell you what, if you are ever pressed for time, oh, Barbara, stop before you mess this up. Let me finish and see what it's gonna look like. If you are ever Press for time to go somewhere, don't do wing liner. Because if you mess that up, that can mess up your whole eye. And then you're trying to fix that. And then the next thing you know, you're late. For lashes today, we are using these Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes from Kiss. Oh, this band is really stiff. I'm going to struggle. I forgot my mascara. Let me put on mascara while you let this dry a little bit so that it sticks easier. 
you want it to be tacky first but i'm going to put on mascara i put on mascara with falsies just to make them dark and to make it blend better pray for me i don't have my tweezers in here nothing so i start up start off putting it right i uh, probably should have measured these to see if they needed to be trimmed Oh, you just rogue today. I start in the middle and then work my way to the outside, to the inside, sorry. Sorry guys, extenuating circumstances. Lashes get on my nerves and I think I have this one too far out. And I really don't think I like how this is on. I'm probably going to take it off and redo it. That's what happens when you want to be fancy. And then not have my tweezers to help put them on. Ooh, I have some in here. Yes. I've been sitting too long. My knee is starting to hurt. Oh my God, I was so excited today. So we squatted. Saturday we squat. And my when i first started off it was really bad like it hurt my knee hurt even just doing body weight squats and i was like you know what i'm not gonna squat today i'm not gonna push it and then i was like well let me just try and see because part of rehab is you know fighting through that stuff you're gonna have some days that hurt but you still have to do it and as i warmed up the weight started getting not easier because i kept going heavier but it hurt a lot less, so let's try this. I ended up working up to 275 pounds to a box, which is the most weight I've had on my back, not just doing like a walkout or something like that since I had surgery. Oh, I should have had my tweezers the first time. I feel like I want to curl them. Yeah, this lash looks a lot better than this one, so I'm going to redo this one. And then I'm going to come back because y'all need to watch the struggle bus happen two times in a row. It should probably be easier if I was drinking more. Look how that just makes the eye look. We're going to put on some highlighter. Now, I have this Cover FX highlighting palette. It's called the Perfect Highlighting Palette. And this has six different highlighters in it. So I'm going to start with, hmm, hmm, the Bonnie's Blossom or Gilded. Let's use, actually I'll lie, we're gonna use Blossom first, the one here. Of course, these stupid bumps won't let me be great, but we're gonna act like they don't exist. And now I'm gonna go back over it with Gilded because I want it to be a little more cool toned instead of so gold. Putting this on my Cupid, Cupid's bow here is just gonna help make my lips look a little poutier as if I need help with that. I'm gonna take this middle celestial shade just because. And then I'm gonna go back over my blush, but I'm gonna go over it with a blush that does not have sparkle in it because I don't want this to be as glittery. I'm just grabbing this LA Girl Spice palette and I'm going to use this color here so we can help tone down some of the shine on my cheeks and put more blush because I like blush. So I still have my highlight popping, but it's just not as much on my cheeks. I don't like that. See, this is what I do when I'm done. Then I start looking at stuff and I'm like, okay, what do I want to look different? I want more highlighter. <laughs> so extra. Ooh. 
Pat McGrath palette. I am going to use this color. And I'm going to put that on my face. Girl is glowing. Guys, I love these lashes. Okay, okay, that's enough highlighter. Go back over it with my powder just to help blend everything together. I haven't decided what wig I'm gonna wear yet. But I am, I need to put mascara on my bottom lash and lipstick and I'm done. All right, lipstick, we are going to go for a bit of a nude because we don't want to take away from the eyes. I'm going to use my MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Yeah, we're gonna use the NARS Slow Ride Liquid Lipstick. We like that. We're gonna lighten this up a little bit. This color is Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Gonna start just a little bit here in the center. Yeah, that's better. See how that makes it a little more neutral, gives me a little ombre effect, make my lips look poutier. And then just use a hanger to blend out. Okay, I'm going to use my Fini Gloss Bomb. It is what it is. I'm opening a new one. I really didn't want to do this. It's done. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, baby, them lips look juicy. Face is done, guys. Let me spray my setting spray. We're going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I don't squeeze my eyes together too much. I need to go back over my brows because I do not want my mascara to transfer. Face is done, guys. She cute. Now we gotta figure out this hair situation, but I will come back once we have it done and I will show you the final look. All right, guys, and this is it. This is the final look. Love how the makeup turned out. Decided to finish off by introducing you to Vanessa. Feeling sassy. Feeling sassy to go sit on my sofa and finally finish watching Breaking Bad. Tonight was fun. This is the first episode of Lipstick and Libations. When I post these, grab you a little cocktail if you want to follow along with me or just sit back and laugh at me because I know I can be a hot mess sometimes. Let me know down below if there's anything that you learned in this video or some tips that you're going to try to implement into your own routine. I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Like it, share it, repost it, or just keep watching it over and over. Whatever makes you happy. Thanks for tuning in for this video, guys. See you next time. Bye.